Guys, if I fill this, uh, please don't put it on. <laughs> Good morning everyone, I never expected myself to say good morning to you guys on camera but I'm here all the way at Tuas at 9am, I've never been here before but Brewlander is here, it's the new home to many of the beloved crafted beers that most of you are drinking in your local bar so we're gonna bring you on a tour in their brewery and to be honest I don't drink so early in the morning but for you guys, I'm gonna take it for the team Let's go! I don't know which level it is, anybody? <laughs> Hello, producer's level <laughs> Okay. Honestly, I think it's a pretty new place because like, look at the leaves, the leaves, the leaves. <laughs> Hello. Okay, you can buy 4D, 0202. Okay, do it. We are in Brewlander at their in-house bar and this man beside me is the CEO and founder of Brewlander who will take me to try a lot of different kind of beer today that I'm so sorry that you guys cannot try but actually John, what are we doing here today? We are here today to visit the new brewery that we built okay. talk you through a little bit about how we make the beers mm -hmm. here at Brewlander and then uh, finish off the session with uh, a few beer. tasters More yeah. beer! <laughs> well, I like get drunk today or something, it's like really... We can morning. make it happen if you want to but Guys, you all heard it! If it happens, it's not my fault! <laughs> Shall we go? Yeah, sure. Let's this go. way. So yeah, welcome to the the brewery. Uh, what is interesting is I started first as a home brewer, right? Okay. And um, you like beer I, too, right? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, I was I started making beer uh, at home since okay. 2008. And then uh, the interesting thing is that making beer at home in the past uh, 20 liters at the time. Okay. Versus now, every batch we brew is about 3,000 liters. Wow. It's about the same six to seven hours. Yep, yep. So it's interesting, like even making beer at 20 liters versus 3,000 liters is the same of duration of time, right? Okay. The brew day starts here, which is what we call the brew house section. Everything you see here is actually custom design. It's like the design, the automation, the, oh, the, okay. the processes. Okay. It's, it's not just uh, buy off the rack. It's, it's very much customized to oh, how nice. we make the beers. You know, it uh, enables us to brew all the kinds of beers that we want to, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, we will bring in the malts from our storage okay. and uh, we'll load it into the hopper there first, as you can see. Yep. And uh, what happens next is that we usually do this the day before because we don't want to rush through brew day. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, usually if you're rushing through it, you know, if it rains in the morning and guys are coming in a little bit later oh. and all, then you realize that chances are you might leave out something or make a mistake. So we want brew days to be as uneventful. And this brew house is actually very, very smart. Okay. Um, all my recipes uh, over the years have been stored inside the system. Okay, okay. Right, so it measures everything, how many ki kilograms of malts ah. we're using, uh, what kind of temperature we need the, okay. the, the mesh to be going on at. And you know, everything is programmed. So it's really, if I'm here or Another brewery is here, right? It's as, as though the same person is, is, is doing it. Yep. Another interesting thing about this brewery or this brew house is that we recover a lot of water okay. and we recover a lot of energy as well. All the energy that we re recover mm. uh, gets used immediately or we can leave it overnight the next day. Yeah, so this is, <laughs> this is where the, the brew actually starts. Um, What's what mash? Though? Mash is like uh, the process where we crush the barley Okay. and we add it into this big vessel okay. where we add hot water to it, uh -huh. right? So the barley, the malts, uh, once it's crushed, it release, releases the starch, okay. which is basically like the flour of uh, oh. barley, okay, okay. right? You bake bread with flour from wheat. This yeah. is the flour that's actually from the barley. Oh. And once it uh, contacts hot water at a certain temperature, mm. Uh, it activates certain enzymes to start to convert the starch to sugar. And that's what we want uh, because it's the sugar uh, after the process is done, right, mm. it's what we call wort, okay. uh, which is basically a very sweet, sugary solution that's oh. extracted from barley. Okay, so uh, this process takes about 60 minutes. 60 the, minutes the per, same, per load? Like, that's yeah, like, the okay. same as when I was running it at home yeah. or on a commercial scale as well. Okay, okay. Yeah, so once this is done, it's still a big mess because it's all, it's like a porridge, right? Ah, um, okay, okay, um, the, the malts are there. Uh, like food, the, yeah, right? that's right. Everything is, 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 is quite messy there. Okay. So what happens is we transfer it to a louder tun, okay. which is basically a giant sieve uh, at the bottom. Okay. So its job is to separate... Yeah, it's inside. Oh, it's inside. It's, yeah. it's, it's
job is to separate uh, the solids from the liquid. Okay. Right, and then okay. what we do is we recirculate a couple of times oh. uh, to clarify the, the liquid, okay. right, the word at this point. So after that is done, we boil it here in a kettle. Is this um, part of my touch like um, it's not now, it's not now, it's all insulated uh, and jacketed, but uh, yeah, <laughs> usually we would advise against that, yeah. Because the thing about it is you wouldn't know whether it's hot definitely, definitely. or sometimes is that there might be some residual um, chemicals. Oh, okay, so you, you might you might not know, yeah. But I'm um, okay guys. <laughs> so here we boil the wort for about 60 to 90 minutes depending on the beer. And this is where we first add the hops. So when you add the hops uh, at the start of the boil, mm -hmm. it will give a little bit more bitterness. Uh, if you add hops towards the end of the boil, you're going to retain more aroma. We will then uh, let it settle mm -hmm. in a whirlpool. Um, and that's where we try to compact as much of the solid as much as possible and just draw off the liquid which will then come here for okay. fermentation. Yeah. Oh. Uh, fermentation usually takes place about 10 to 18 degrees for beers. We do a few wild fermentation here as well. Oh. So those goes up to like 30, 40 degrees at times as oh, well. I see, I see. Yeah. And fermentation usually for us happens, you know, fermentation all the way to packaging. We try to keep it within 17 to 18 days, depending on the beer. Uh, we are quite fast that way. We don't filter here. Um, we don't filter our beers. So we use what we call a centrifuge okay. right here. Um, because filter filtering, right, strips out so much flavor. Okay. And as a craft brewer, right, we are always asking like, how much more hops can I add in this? Yeah. How much more flavor can I add in this, right? How more, so, how, like the unique. How oh the yeah, unique yeah, yeah. So, so, so that's the thing. Like, if, if you're adding so much in it, why are we filtering it to take, take it away, it, yeah. right? So, don't even do it in the first place, right? If right. you're gonna strip it away, with the centrifuge, it removes the solids, which might be some of your hops or the yeast yeah. or haze, uh, some of the haze as well. Uh, and, and, and what comes out on the other end is beer that seems like it has been filtered. So the idea is for us to get kind of the clarity uh, of a filtered beer without stripping yeah. the kind of flavours that otherwise uh, filtration uh, would strip. And then after that's done, uh, we make sure the beers are carbonated okay. uh, to the right carbonation, right? Uh, and then we package it to kegs or to cans or bottles as well. Oh. Yeah, so if you want to, you could yes. follow me, uh, just watch your step. We have two lines here. We have always only in the past bottled our beers, but uh, the last couple of years, cans within the craft industry has, has been making its waves. Um, you know, and it's, it's, uh, for certain style of beers, actually can works better. It preserves the the, the, everything, the, the quality better as well. Okay. And light. Uh, it's one of the um, enemies of beer, so to speak. It, oh. Yeah, light, uh, it's, it changes the flavor of the beer over time. Okay. So being in, in the can, right, uh, light is not permeable, right? Mm. Uh, and oxygen as well, it, 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 um, it really protects uh, the beer against oxidation a lot better because okay. it seals better. It's more environmentally friendly yeah. as well. It's lighter. That, that's, that's, uh, that's a machine that helps us to can the beers. Oh. Yeah, okay. and I mean that's that's why preserved foods are all in cans, yeah, right? Because it definitely. just preserves uh, and and uh, keeps better. One fun fact is that we built this brewery during COVID, oh. so we couldn't get any of the installers in. All these were shipped flat racked, uh -huh. so it came like IKEA furniture, yeah. and uh, we couldn't get the installers in. So it was myself and two of my other colleagues, you know, with an Allen key and a wrench, piecing this whole entire. <laughs> whatever you see here is three guys fixing it up, the legs, the body, oh putting the belts in, oh making sure it's aligned. When I, I thought uh, when I was saying, thinking of building a brewery, uh, I wasn't expecting it to be this uh, literal. So, I'm shall we have, actually, shall we have, have, have some <laughs> yes, beers right now? Go. Yeah. What can I get you? Uh, okay. what, what kind of beers do you like? Mm, I'm a very, I, I like sweet beer. Sweet yeah, beer. So I like Blong. Uh, what would you recommend? I I will let you try a few. Okay. Because um, we have quite quite a lot of different beers here. In Actually, a sense, I wanted, it, to, I wanted to try the love one. Oh, like, that's that's. Uh, it sounds very sweet. That, according to a lot of people, they reckon it's our best. Oh, oh my god. Uh, but it is uh, our best seller. Okay. Okay. As well. Can I try four? I used to I used to work. As a oh yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> but if, sure. I, if I if I if I fail, uh, guys, if I fail oops. this, uh, please don't put it on. <laughs> there we go. Uh, 
Guys, I still got it, lah, guys. Look at this, guys. I got it. Get juice. Get juice. Are you proud of me? <laughs> People ask what is craft beer, right? And and it's a loaded question, I guess. Yeah. yeah but you know, it's 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 really much about using good ingredients, and you know, beers that are made with passion, mm -hmm. in a sense that you know, it's it's the the, the idea of keeping it as cost efficient as possible is not at all yeah. our consideration Correct. at all, right? It's, it's, it's about how can we make it an experience? How can we put as much flavor there, right? What are we trying to express to the, to the consumer who drinks this beer, right? And, and it starts for ourselves, right? It starts with good ingredients. Mm -hmm. You put cheap ingredients there, it's the beer's gonna, gonna yeah, yeah, right? For us, we buy our malts uh, from a, a farm okay. in, in the UK. And we buy directly, we ship it in, you know, directly, and, and it shows in our beers. Uh, the malts are much more expensive compared to industrial malts, but the flavor is just beautiful. Yeah, I mean, like it's 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 it's, it's what we are trying to create, like, like let people taste the, the malts, the hops, yeah. and and everything. Okay. This one is interesting. It's a it's a sour beer, so the beer is sour, and these are the first batch of beers we put in can. Okay, you can you can you can give this a try. Beer is sour. Oh my god. You like it? I do. Really? It hits a bit different. Yeah. It's an acidic beer. The beer is... Oh my god. It's, it's sour and we added quite a bit of hops in this as well. And some pineapple as well. Yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah I was you going get, to say, you, you, a pineapple. Yeah, you get a pineapple okay. as well. Yeah. So it's very tart. It's very refreshing, very tart. It's a bit like a cider. It's a bit like a cider, I feel. I okay. Think it's a bit like okay. a cider. Okay, yeah. Very like awakening kind of. Yeah. yeah, and this is a Belgian style ale. You can try that. Yeah, it's one of my favorite styles actually. Oh, it's nice. Mm. It's so amazing. This one is a Belgian style beer. I really, really, really thank my beloved crew and John for like letting me taste all the beer today. I'm really very happy to be honest. Thank you so much. Thank you. I hope, I hope you enjoy the beers, yeah. I'm a bit high. <laughs> anyway, guys, you come to the end of today's tour. If any of you would like to come, pay a visit to Brulander. They are open every Saturday, so you bring your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your grandmother, your auntie, your uncle. Just bring them here. But there's limited slots, so that one I have to warn you. So head to the link below to book your slots. Bye. I want to go home and sleep. Bye. <laughs>